Hello there. Well, hello. Hello, and welcome to the Songwriters Open Circle, number five. In the middle of the summer, the dog days of summer. <laughs> so today, I guess I should turn that on. Today, I brought two new songs and one old song. And the first one is, um, it's funny because it actually has a tie to this event. Because the very first time I had it in uh, February, I brought this song to kind of workshop. And the funny thing is, I, <clears throat> I still write all my stuff out on paper first. So the first date on this paper for this song is like October 2020. And then there's another date from 2021, and then earlier this year I tried to do some more on it, but there was, it just wasn't right. Um, so people gave me some good ideas about the lyrics and so on, but I think that it was the music that wasn't right. So last month when, we had, when I had this, um, the day before I do like a little video reel, and what I had done was I was practicing my piano, my keyboard, and I thought, well, I'll just, I'll turn on the camera, right, I'll turn on my phone, and I'll just do a couple of chords and then talk over it. And then just as I turned the camera on, I thought, oh, let's try singing something to it. So I sang a little thing to it, it ended up being, you know, a silly song about coming here. Um, but those, that music struck me, and I thought, okay, that's the music that I need for this song. So that's how it got put together. So um, the moral of the story is don't throw stuff away, even if it doesn't work for like three years, keep it. <laughs> Someday something might come along and you might have the inspiration. So anyway, this one is called Time Isn't Our Enemy.
Yeah. No, your voice as well. You're, 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 yeah. you're, you're wonderful. Really? Oh, yeah, thank sure. you. I never thought of Tracy Chapman. You listen, yeah, listen to her. Really cool. Cool. You, get, you get that flavor, you really do. Which is not a bad thing, of course. No, oh, definitely not. All right, and this next one, <clears throat> if you um, if you find my YouTube page, there's a, I have a playlist on it called um, Lingua Franca Collective, and that was uh, it was a project I had with a, a friend of mine who's a keyboard player, but more than a keyboard player, he's actually kind of a producer. Like we did this stuff that had, I mean, I wrote the lyrics and did the melody, but I mean, he would put like seventeen layers of you know beats and whatever on top of it. So I told him recently that I wanted to do this song and write other music for it, and he said, yeah, cool, um, because I can't, you know, reproduce what he did. <laughs> so this is like a simpler version, we'll call it. Um, um, but it's also, it's a song about gentrification. Um, we did this, it was pre-COVID, so probably 2019. So gentrification and displaced people, which is actually kind of timely right now, right? Is it? 